Section 5, Efforts to Improve Variant Classification Methodology. 5.1, Public Efforts. The Clinical Genome Resource, ClinGen, Consortium has been actively working to develop publicly available tools, procedures, and working groups to advance the field of genetic variant classification in both germline and somatic settings. Other disease specialty consortia, such as the Evidence-Based Network for the Interpretation of Germline Mutant Alleles, Enigma, Consortium in Hereditary Cancer, have similar goals, as do many independent clinical researchers. The ACMG, CAP, AMP, and other societies are working to update their general and disease-specific variant classification guidelines in both germline and somatic settings. These groups have varying levels of access to quality control data, resources, and statistical support. Unfortunately, in the absence of large orthogonally validated truth sets, with data rich at the patient and sequence quality levels, and without sufficient resources to leverage these data, even the excellent work of these consortia and clinical scientists is often informed more by expert opinion than by sufficiently powered evidence. In time, as more valid evidence is compiled and studied, variant methodology will improve and classifications will become more accurate. For example, promising early results have been emerging from researchers working with data compiled within the UK Biobank. Section 5.2, Private Efforts. Several commercial clinical genetics laboratories with large quality controlled databases of paired sequence data and patient phenotype and family history data actively work to improve the accuracy of variant classification. The internal databases of these laboratories allow internal researchers and outside collaborators to develop advanced variant classification techniques, which these laboratories often present or publish for product promotion and peer review. These classification and reclassification methodologies will improve over time, but currently they often represent the most advanced variant classification methodologies in clinical genetics and genomics. When carefully considered, these commercial methodologies should inform the drafting of public guidelines. Particularly important advances in germline variant classification have been developed and made public by several high volume commercial laboratories. Methodologies of note, with their brand name in parentheses, include Marion Genetics Mutation Co Occurrence, MCO, Analysis, and its History Weighting Algorithm, Pheno for the classification, reclassification of variants in high penetrance autosomal dominant disorders. In Vitae's comprehensive refinement of the ACMG AMP variant classification criteria, Sherlock is an exemplary iteration of the guidelines. Myriad Genetics Unbranded and Ambry Genetics plus RNA Insight, pairing of DNA of germline DNA and mRNA sequencing to disambiguate RNA splicing variant classifications is helping to reclassify many variants. In the oncology somatic space, Foundation Medicine's patient level database of variants and variant allele frequencies, Foundation Core, in combination with Flat Iron Health's patient level clinical outcomes database, is accelerating discovery for cancer medicines and biomarkers. Other laboratories are also making significant advances. While the development of private commercial databases and methodologies continues to be a contentious topic among some stakeholders, commercial laboratories committed to publishing their work are undeniably delivering important advances to the field of variant classification.